Now what we're going to do is try to calculate the force on the on the current carrying wire. So we can use the equation F equals BIL. B is uh, F is the force on the wire. B is the magnetic flux density. I is the current going through the wire. And L is the length of wire that's actually exposed to the field. Now what happens if the wire is not at right angles to the field? For example, in this case, you can see the current is going this direction. And you can see that it's not at right angles to the field. In this case, what we need to do is we're actually interested in the component of the wire that's actually at right angles to the field. So we actually use, need to use trigonometry and you'll find that it's, you have to use sine of that angle. Where now the theta here is the acute angle, meaning the uh, angle smaller than 90 degrees measured between the current carrying wire and the field. As soon as set up a circuit like this, what you've got here is a balance with a magnet on top and then you've got a wire that can carry a current around and some of that wire is between the magnet. Once you've set up the circuit, you press a zero button so that you get zero grams here. Uh, and then what you can do is close the switch. As soon as you close the switch here, you can get a current flowing around the circuit. And according to this question, the current is 3.5 amps. The reason why it's going in that direction is because it's going from positive to negative. This causes the reading on the meat, uh, balance to go to 0 0.82 grams. Now what we need to find is the di uh, direction and magnitude of the magnetic flux density of the magnet. So firstly, why is there a force on the balance? Why is something pushing down the balance? This is because as soon as the current flowing through the wire, there's going to be force on the wire. Now, because when there's a force on the wire, there has to be equal and opposite force on the magnet pushing uh, pushing down, which is why the reading goes up. So in this case, because it's pushing down, the mag the wire itself is actually being pushed up. So the force on the wire is upwards, while the force on the magnet is equal and opposite. And this is because of Newton's third law. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to find First, let's start with the direction. Because the current is going towards the right, we can use Fleming's left-hand rule, pointing our second finger to the right, and the force is going upwards. So that means that our first finger, field, this should be pointing in this direction here. So that means we're going this the north, and that's the south. Okay. Right now, we define the magnitude of the magnetic flux density. We can use the equation. F equals BIL. Now, because of the what we have is a mass reading, so we can use a mass reading to figure out the force that is being pushed down with. We can use MG equals BIL. Okay, so mass is 1.82. I'm going to turn that into kilograms. Times that by 9.81. That tells us the force on the balance, which is the same as the force on the wire. And then B, the magnetic flux density is what we're trying to find. The current is 3.5. And the length that's actually exposed to the magnetic field is 5 centimeters. So if you rearrange this to get the magnetic flux density, you get 0 0.10 Teslas. Okay, another student attempts to set up the same equipment as shown above, but the reading is only 1.79. So instead of being 1.9, 82 it's 1.79 this means it's a small reading so that possibly because the student hasn't aligned the wire perfectly perpendicular so it might not not be perpendicular so that we have to use sine of the angle which clearly gives us something less than the maximum force uh, another reason might be because the, there's an increase in resistance so the resistance might have gone up either, either due to overheating of the wire. So if the resistance goes up, the current has gone down. So if the current goes down, then the force will go down as well. Okay, another student sets up the same equipment, but the reading decreases by 1.82 grams instead of increasing. So just two possible reasons why. Well, if the reading is decreasing, now the force isn't downwards on the magnet anymore, the magnet is being pulled upwards. Now that means that the wire is being pulled downwards. So why has the force, the direction of the force on the wire changed? 
Well, either because you've put the magnet in the wrong way, so maybe you've put south here and north there, or what happened was the student has connected the circuit in the wrong direction. Maybe they put the, they connected the negative terminal over here and the positive terminal over here.